What's going on people? Today I am going to do an unboxing, install and review on Flexi Mount's garage storage system. And I gotta work on my honeydew list before I get back to beast mode and the Corvette. So this is up next. Flexi Mount garage storage. Let me get out the sun. So I got my box here. I picked this, I actually picked this up also from uh, Liquid Bidding, liquidbidding.com here in Michigan. They sell used goods or overstock goods for a discounted price. I think I paid 68 bucks for these. They're over 100 bucks online, so got a little deal. The box is heavy, it's kind of awkward. Actually, it's not that heavy for one person, but it's kind of awkward, so it's still hard to uh, maneuver. So get you a second person, so you won't be out of breath like me. Now we open up the box. That's what we got. No, it's four of these. be a four foot by two feet and then there's four of those so that'll be your eight foot and then your stanchions that come down from the ceiling I guess we'll put it over here bring that stuff down and put the shelf up all right let's get to work okay so step one says to install the ceiling brackets like so if you're running them perpendicular to the joists and they're two feet apart, which mine are. So I got these three on this side and now four feet away from that. On the other side, I have to put another one. So halfway there, got the first part of this equation done with the ceiling mounts. Got these two here. Two here. And two here. The next part is to get the, the legs together. Determine how far you want it to hang from the ceiling. Then put all the legs together at the same height, then we'll get those up. So I got all my rails the same height and all bolted together. It's pretty simple. There's a square surface on the bottom of each bolt that allows it to go into there and lock in so you can tighten it on, tighten it on the other side. And then, uh, this is a locking bolt that has the rubber. So you can do it by hand so far, but then you gotta use a wrench or in my case, a power drill to tighten everything up. So now we gotta get these rails in the right lo location and attach them to the ceiling mounts, 48 inches apart. That's what I have so far. Hanging down pretty low, but not as low as the uh, garage door. So car can get in here just fine. But, so the next step is completed. I got all of the ceiling mounts up and all of the arms or legs for the shelf mounted. I just eyeballed them uh, from one side to the other. Hopefully that's uh, close enough to get it lined up. As we're closing in on this here, you gotta take these four, four shelves and tie them all together. Put screws in here from this side and then here from this side for all four. Then add plates 
here and there and then the same place on the other two shelves we got the four shelves all together so now I need the braces for this outer which should be this right here on the four outer ones and then these middle ones right here are screwed into these uprights in the middle and that just should support everything. Well, got everything up except for the shelf and this is definitely a two-man job. It's just me so we're gonna see what we can do. weight rating is but uh only thing about it swings a little bit but I do have it close uh -oh. I do have it close to the wall so if I really want to mobilize it which I might do I can just get two by four Put it in between here and there and drill into the two by four so it stays and it won't be rocking back and forth. Another project crossed off the list. Only problem now is if we bring the Bronco in and forget to put the top down, we can't flip it over to close it while it's in the garage. So gotta remember to close the top while it's outside. That should get her. Flexi mount storage shelves. Till next time, like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Appreciate you. Jesus. Jimmy Light 74, yeah.